I want families to know you have a voice, whether it is someone who is experiencing crisis or someone that is creating the path for themselves, or it's for someone that they trust advocating for them. You have a voice. You can clearly express, this is what helps. This is what doesn't help. This is what I want. This is who I want to be involved. And in an involuntary treatment, you're not going to have that voice unless you've expressed it prior to that crisis. I want people to know that they are the most central part of their own care. As someone living with a mental health diagnosis, you are the most important person with the most important information about who you are as a person. I want to really make it known that you have options, you have a choice, and you have a legal way to make these choices known and to help have these things enforced. Everyone needs to know what a pad is and, that, and how important it is. And even Kaylee, when she's not well, knows that she had her pad and she knows that I'm doing the right thing for her. And just having that to hold on to is everything. The dynamic surrounding my pad was pretty easy for me to figure out. Luckily, I have a mother who's a registered nurse, but also someone that I can really trust to advocate in my best interest. And I know it can be difficult watching a loved one experiencing a crisis. There's a lot of things that are inevitable, unfortunately, when I get to a certain level. However, having my preferences listed, I feel has helped de-escalate things from getting to a level where more severe interventions may have been used. So I think a big part of it was having somebody that I can actually trust to advocate for things that are in my best interest and to advocate in a way that puts me at the center. I can really make a lot of different wishes of my known. For example, I am a person who is spiritual, so being able to incorporate my spirituality might not be able to fit into a very standardized form, but when I have that room to discuss things that are helpful, like being able to listen to healing frequencies and music, or being able to have crystals, things like that, it's helpful for me. Another important part with ads is that certain aspects of my beliefs may be seen as a symptom in different cultures and being able to express that this is who I am at my baseline helps my providers understand that this isn't a symptom, this is who I really am. For healthcare professionals to know what her baseline looks like and that's described in the pad is really important. There are certain behaviors that will be exhibited during a time of, of, of illness that she wouldn't demonstrate otherwise. I had her care plan in place and I went directly to her doctor's office with her. It was a doctor that did not know her. It was a new, it was a new provider. And I absolutely insisted at the front desk with these papers in my hand, I absolutely insisted that this provider if I had to sit there all day, they were going to talk to me. And they started with the, she's over 18 and you have no business and you can't, And but I held on to it and, and I held on to it and I used it and it actually, and she was telling me the medication she was on and I was explaining to them, look, you don't have to believe me. This is where her medical records are. Here are copies of them, get them yourself. Please, this is a symptom, she's in trouble. And it absolutely, allowed some intervention. It, it took some time. There was some resistance, which is where some education would be helpful with our healthcare providers, our therapists, our doctors, our nurses, everybody to say, listen, listen, this is the person in their rational mind speaking on these papers. Listen to them. They have a voice. Something's wrong. And that is the only thing that allowed me access to speak to the doctor. They, they weren't going to speak to me at all but they did. And we were able to get her treatment as a result of it, get the medication stopped. Kaylee wouldn't stop taking the medication because the doctor said, continue, continue. And it was getting worse until the doctor would tell her, stop the medication. And it was, it was extremely helpful having that pad in place. That's when I realized that was 
when I realized this is what's really making a difference.